My research team and I have been studying how GLP-1 agonists, medications commonly used to treat diabetes, might impact kidney transplant recipients, and what we found might change how we manage diabetes in this population. My name is Bob Akarandi, and I'm a transplant surgeon and obesity medicine specialist at NYU Langone. Kidney transplant recipients with type 2 diabetes face a higher risk of complications, including rejection and early transplant failure. And so we really wanted to know, could these medications help protect the transplanted kidney? We analyzed data from over 18,000 kidney transplant recipients. And what we found was that those who were prescribed GLP-1 agonists had a 49% lower likelihood of kidney transplant failure and a 31% lower likelihood of dying within five years. But as with any treatment, there are trade-offs. We found that patients who received GLP-1 agonists had a higher risk of developing diabetic retinopathy or damage to the retina of the eye. And so that's why it's important for people to get regular eye screenings and for doctors to closely monitor the treatment plan. These findings give us a clearer understanding of both the risks and the benefits of GLP-1 agonists in kidney transplant recipients. And while more study is needed, these data do provide valuable real-world information on how to guide the management of patients with diabetes and a kidney transplant. For patients with both diabetes and a kidney transplant, these medications may be an option, but it's important to work closely with your physician to find the right approach for you.